So here we are again with our uh, semi-annual pre-Christmas project, and this time we're going to make a uh, quick gummy uh, yep. candy that you can make at home. And uh, to do this, you need uh, a stove, a pan, and some Joseph. Brand, uh, gelatin, flavor gelatin, some oh. unflavored gelatin, <laughs> and uh some water and uh, what you want to do is start by getting uh about a half a cup of water uh we're gonna go ahead off camera and get the water and the ingredients we're gonna put in the bowl we'll come right back yep okay so we're back with steven and levi and we're making gummies yep well so so now the way see we have to do and as we're done throwing, we'll put on some of these little things and then we have what we're going to do. So we got numbers and ABCs. So now we have those open. Turn. So now we have the good. And we had to do a cup of water from the sink. Now we did it. We had a the. It's a half a cup of water. Well, yeah, half cup. Okay, just let me jump in here, Levi. Yep. Okay, so what we did was we took a packet of the gelatin, a uh, two packets of the unflavored gelatin, a half a cup of water, and we stir them together while they're cold. And we're going to keep stirring while it heats up, and we're going to keep stirring until all the sugar is dissolved. And once all the sugar is dissolved, we're going to turn off the heat and let it cool down for a little bit. Yep, that will do the dice. So, so it's literally been about two minutes. Yep. Can I check? Yes. Pull it up, Levi. So, so we don't taste. So after we're done with the party. Okay, I believe that all of the shoot there's a little bit left on the spoon. So we're gonna keep strains. Can you turn it down to like uh, seven? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. So after. In fact, I'll tell you what. Go ahead and turn the heat off. It's close enough that we can turn the heat off. And uh, what we have is a concentrated uh, gelatin mix. And you almost all the sugar is dissolved in. So we'll be back in a minute uh, after this has cooled. And yep. literally, it took about two minutes to heat this up. Yep. So we're back about 20 minutes later. The mm -hmm. 20 minutes. gelatin mixture has gotten to a point where it's starting to... What they call ribbon, uh -huh. and the pot is definitely cool to the touch. Uh -huh. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let Stephen go ahead and mold up some uh, Lego figures we have here while we discuss the way you can do an old-fashioned uh -huh. style, All right? And uh, and what I'm gonna do is have Levi hold the camera for me, and point right there. Thank you, sir. And what you do is you take about a tablespoon of cornstarch and a tablespoon of uh, uh, confectioner sugar, and you mix it together, and then you put it in a small colander, and then here you know, we'll pan over a little bit, and then you just tap it gently, and it fills in the letters yep. or in our mold, and gives you an old-fashioned style. Yep. Gummy. Yep. Die so. Okay. I'm a coin. Uh, here, let me go ahead and take this back. Yep. And uh, uh, let me have the Steven swap around with me for a second. Okay. And uh, we'll go ahead and put some gummy mixture into these molds here. And you'll see it kind of rides on top of the sugar the sugar and cornstarch and then to finish it keep holding that Stephen. what you do is you come back and you tap a little more on the top like this it's snowing there <laughs> and that'll give you a traditional style gummy and we see we put a refrigerator and we have those are the, are the so so what we're gonna do is take them out like this. 
we're taking them out. Like this. If we to do a little fresh, you might come out. Look at them. Then, that's how we did the bagel, bagel bear. And so, you know the way fleshy? And. <laughs> good. I'm good. <laughs> I think. Good. I think that was really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try one. Let me try some of this here. See if it's the right consistency. Let me take it out for you. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Much okay. more like a gummy. Everything is good. Everything. Mm. And um, we used melon flavor in this one. That one works really good. We've actually, through experimentation, found that cherry is not necessarily a good flavor. Grape is not a good flavor. But like lemon, lime, and apparently melon are good flavors to work with. I uh, hope you enjoy the recipe. Um, oh, and by the way, we stuck these in the fridge probably for about a half an hour to an hour. And they uh, really firmed up nice in these molds. And as you can see, the kids like them. So good. Bye-bye for now.